Uh, hello, my name is Panos Kodzathanasis, and this is ASEAN Movie Pulse Interviews. Today I'm here with uh, Mr. Kim Jae Hoon, whose film Devils is screening in Fantasia. How are you? First of all, I'm very pleased and honored to be invited to Fantasia Film Festival in beautiful Montreal. And I liked the city so much, so uh, gorgeous, and uh, it's, uh, it's great, the atmosphere here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, but so, for first question, can you tell us a bit about the inspiration behind the story, and particularly if it has something to do with John Woo's Face Off, which the film reminded me of that film a lot. Mm. 일단 어, 어떤 스토리에도 영감을 받으셔서 이 영화를 만드셨고 또 yeah. fa Face Off 그거와 yeah. 어떤 그 영감이나 영향을 받으셨는지 알고 싶습니다. Yeah. 그 어쨌든 처음에 이 스릴러라는 장르 어전 세븐이라는 영화 가장 저희 영, 영감을 준 영화가 있었고 그런 다음에 이제 살인마와 형사의 몸이 바뀐다는 소재는 페이스오프의 아이디어를 빌려오긴 했지만 그거와 다르게 가도록 그 이야기와 다르게 가도록 저 노력을 했던 것 같아요 음... For us, uh, uh, I got uh, much inspiration from the film Seven, which is a very mm. uh, classic uh, representative uh, thriller genre movie. And in terms of the switching of body, um, I also got the idea from the face off, uh, it's true, but I try to differentiate uh, as much as possible for my own film. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, as I was watching the movie, my biggest question is, in, in his opinion, who is the worst of the two? Who is the biggest villain, let's say, of the two protagonists? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 굉장히 이제 용서받지 못할 행동을 했기 때문에 이제 어떤 관객들은 재환을 더안 좋게 생각할 수도 있을 것 같아요. Uh, on the surface, it's uh, uh, Jinyeok, who is the most vicious uh, villain in this movie. However, uh, from uh, some point of view, uh, Jehwan, Jehwan, which is a de detective, also committed a serious crime. So uh, some people would say that Jaewan is the most vicious, most vicious villain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, considering uh, the nature of the profession of a policeman that he has to, let's say, enforce the law, would you say that sometimes the mentality of the policeman are, is close to what, that of the criminals? Mm -hmm. 그 사실 형사의 그 네. 직업상 그 상태 그 법을 집행하는 거잖아요. 네. 그런데 그 이런 범죄자들을 간혹 가다가는 이렇게 어 이런 식으로 응징하는 것이 네. 어 가능하다고 생각하시는지. 네. 사실 저는 그 심정적으로는 이게 더 통쾌한 느낌도 있고 더 이렇게 범죄자들을 더 어... 이렇게 벌줬으면 하는 느낌도 있지만 사실 현실적으로는 이렇게 음, 안 좋은 수단을 사용해서 정의 집행하는 거는 좀안 좋다고 생각하는 것 같아요. 아, from the heart of my, uh, the heart of my, uh, from my heart, emotionally, I get some kind of catharsis when I see uh, that these criminals are punished in this way. However, uh, in reality, uh, I don't think it's acceptable to, uh, yeah, to use this kind of uh, torture and uh, unlegal, illegal instruments to catch them, to uh, punish them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And uh, can you give us some details about the casting, how the casting worked for the film? Mm -hmm. 
그 채팅은 어떻게 하셨는지 좀 네. 자세하게 디테일을 좀 말씀해 주십시오. 어, 진혁 역할을 한 배우는 그 울프 헌팅이라는 영화 촬영장에 제가 이제 촬영장을 구경하러 갔다가 그 배우가 현장에서 내뿜는 에너지가 너무 좋아서 캐스팅 제안을 하게 됐고 오대환 배우 같은 경우는 이제 한국 영화 중에 베테랑이라는 영화가 있었어요. 음. 베테랑이라는 영화에서 연기와 캐릭터가 너무 좋아서 네, 그 캐릭터를 조금 거기서 형, 똑같은 형사인데 좀 밝은 코믹한 형사 역할이거든요. 네, 그 분위기는 싹 걷어내고 좀 진지하고 다크한 형사로 가면 좋겠다는 생각이 들어서 캐스팅 제안을 하게 됐어요. 야, yeah, for the criminal villain, uh, the Jin Hyuk, uh, I found him uh, in the shooting site of the film Wolf Hunting. I, I happened to be there and I liked him so much, his character and his performance uh, as an actor. So I proposed the casting and he accepted it. And for the detective role, Oh Dae Hwan, uh, um, I... He he's an actor who played a role of uh, also a detective uh, in the movie Veteran, and uh, his performance was also great. And the character uh, as a in the movie was very good. So I liked him uh, and wanted to uh, wanted him to play in my in my film. In the in the movie Veteran, he played a more a comic uh, character as a detective, but. I thought that it would be good for him to play a very serious and very dark character in this movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, was it difficult for them, uh, for the two main actors, to portray two different characters at the same time? And uh, how did he manage to achieve, how did he work with them in order to achieve this? Mm -hmm. The two uh, characters... Uh... 주연 배우들이 서로 네. 역할을 이제 교차하면서 연기하는 걸좀 네. 어려워했는지 네. 그리고 감독님께서는 어, 이, 이, 이 것을 잘 해내기 위해서 어떻게 그들을 가이드했는지 알고 싶습니다. 네. 그두 배우분들께 똑같은 느낌을 좀 가시기를 그래도 했었고요. 그 느낌이라는 게 항상 피곤하고 예민해 있고 날이 서 있는 느낌을 촬영 끝날 때까지 유지해달라고 얘기를 했어요. 그래서 음. 다음에 이게 어, 배우분들이 마침 그때 여러 가지 스케줄이 겹쳐있던 상황이라 실제로 그렇게 피곤하고 예민하기도 했었고요. 그래서 그런 상황들이 잘 맞아서 느낌들이 통일되니까 두 배우가 몸이 바뀌더라도 이질감이 없이 잘 어울렸던 것 같아요. Uh, I asked them to stay uh, always uh, uh, tired most tired and uh, on the edge and alert uh, 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 until the, the, the movie, uh, uh, until the shooting and uh, uh, filming ends. Because if they feel the same way and a very uh, alert state and very uh, on the edge and uh, sensitive and tired, I thought that uh, these two uh, actors would have the same atmosphere that can, can that can be shown to the pub to the audience, and uh, um, um, and very fortunately, they at that time they were uh, very uh, tired, uh, in fact, because they were very busy in their schedule. So uh, it was good, mm -hmm. and uh, we could feel the same way even when they switch their uh, role so it was good yeah 네, 그리고 그 이게 스포일러라 조심스럽긴 하지만 실제로 몸이 바뀐 건 아니기 때문에 너무 디테일한 동작까지 똑같이 하는 거는 하지 않았다고 생각해 uh, and uh, to add some uh, information uh, maybe it can be considered as a spoiler so i'm cautious but um in fact uh, their bodies are not switched uh, and uh, so they didn't need to uh, really be uh, really similar to each other in every detail. Yeah. So I didn't ask them to uh, really uh, uh, imitate uh, the other character uh, completely. Mm -hmm. And uh, in general, was he strict with them or did he allow a lot of improvisation? 그, 보통 어, 좀 이렇게 어, 
즉흥적으로 대사를 하거나 뭐 이런 것들을 조금 사용을 하시나요? 네네. 그래도 이 캐릭터에 관한 분석력과 집중력은 배우들이 전국적으로 더 뛰어날 때가 있기 때문에 배우들에게 의견 항상 물어보고 배우들의 의견을 최대한 받아들이는 편입니다. 어, uh, yes. Um, as actors who play the role, uh, they can be uh, better than, even better than the director in terms of uh, the capacity to analyze the character and the focus on the character. So I always ask them uh, their own opinions, and if they are good, I accept them. <laughs> and, uh... Can he give us some more details about uh, the visual aspect of the film, what he wanted to do in the visuals of the film, particularly the lighting and coloring, which I felt are among the best traits of the film? Mm -hmm. uh, so, personal color, the personal color, the color, the color, color, the color, the color, the color, the 이제 인물들이 인물이 약간 현실적이지 않은 느낌이 조금은 들게 무도록 했어요. 그렇게 해서 각자의 인물이 가지고 있는 퍼스널 컬러를 영화에 잘 섞고 그 다음에 뭐 미술적으로나 주문적으로나 그래서 표현을 하려고 노력을 많이 했습니다. So uh, I wanted to show the each character's personal color. Uh, for example, for Jin Hyo. The serial killer. I wanted him to show some mixture of uh, several different colors, and for the butcher, uh, I wanted to uh, represent him in the red image uh, in general, and for the detective Chehan, I uh, uh, wanted to show him in the green uh, filtered uh, color. And uh, so that he can be shown uh, as a character that is not really uh, realistic. Um, and in that way, I wanted to uh, show uh, the, each character's uh, own personal color and try to match it with the uh, artistic and lighting effects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, can he give us some details about how he worked for the fighting scenes? How did he work with for the choreography, let's say, and in, in general, how he shot them? Action fighting and fighting, how do you do it? It's a simple action for the scene. The two characters are the most important scene the 그두 배우들한테는 이제 항상 내가 너를 무조건 죽이겠다는 마음가짐이고 쳐다보고 이야기를 하고 싸워달라고 요구를 했었어요. Um, I did not only show the great action, uh, simply the most uh, uh, better, the best action uh, scenes, but I wanted to represent the uh, conflicts of two uh, emotions and uh, mental mentalities of these two characters. And uh, I wanted to show the climax of this uh, conflict, conflictual emotions of two characters uh, through the action scenes. So I asked the lead characters uh, always to, um, uh, have the emotions that they want to kill the other, they want to really defeat them, uh, defeat it, uh, defeat the other character. So uh, in that way, they have to look at them, they have to uh, yeah, always uh, be ready to uh, beat them. So I ask them to have this uh, mindset. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, in general, uh, the film is quite violent, but uh, I was wondering, is he, in his opinion, is violent uh, serves a particular purpose be, beyond what he just described or could be used just for entertainment, let's say, like what Tarantino does in his movies, let's say? Uh, oh, could you could you repeat that question, please? Could you... uh, okay, uh, the whole thing. Huh? Okay, uh, so I was wondering if violence in the film is very violent, but and I'm wondering if violence in his film serves a particular purpose, or is it just a means of uh, entertainment? They say just how sometimes Tarantino uses violence in his movies. W what is his opinion of violence in movies? Let's say in general. 이 영화는 구체적으로 굉장히 좀 어, 폭력적이잖아요. 그런데 어, 다, 감독님은 이러한 그 폭력을 어떤 특별한 목적을 달성하기 위한 수단으로 사용을 하시는지 아니면은 그냥 어, 그냥 예능적으로 좀 이렇게 엔터테이닝 하는 그런 네. 목적으로 마치 타란티노가 네. 사용하는 것처럼 그런 어, 요소로 이 폭력을 사용하시는지 네. 알고 싶습니다. 우리 악마들에서 이렇게 폭력적인 장면이 나오는 것들은 대부분은 이 살인마들이 자기 저지른 이 악행에 대한 벌을 받는 장면들이고요. 그 다음에 초반 영화 초반에는 이들의 캐릭터를 설명하기 위해서 이들한테 피해를 당하는 사람들이 보여주긴 하지만 그들이 고통스러워하거나 그들이 괴로워하는 모습을 일부러 배제를 했고요. 딱 그냥 어떻게 보면 냉정하게 차갑게 그들의 행동만 보여주되 그래서 실제로 고통스러워하고 그 폭력적인을 당한 거는 그 살인마들, 살인마들의 벌을 받는 장면을 생각하고 연주하는 거죠. 음, in the in the film uh, Devils, uh, most uh, violent scenes are the scenes where the criminals uh, get punished and uh, they suffer in those scenes. Uh, of course, at the opening of the uh, film, uh, we see a victim uh, that is uh, amputed, uh, but we do not, but, but it was just to, to show what the criminals have done and uh, are doing. And we do not show uh, the suffering of those victims, just uh, the action. And um, uh, I wanted, I, I tried to uh, show these cruel, uh, violent actions uh, uh, in a, the most uh, um, objective and very cool way, uh, the, a little bit not very emotional way. And uh, most scenes are to show that the, those killers, criminals, uh, must be. Uh, must be suffering uh, also as they did to other victims. So uh, that was the way I wanted to use this violence uh, mainly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Can he tell us what is his opinion of the Korean movie industry at the moment? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 극장의 티켓 값도 많이 올랐고요. 그 다음에 OTT 플랫폼들을 통해서 뭐 오징어 게임 같은 여러 좋은 작품들이 나오면서 한국 영화들이 많이 상대적으로 위축이 되고 있어요. 그러다 보니까 좋은 영화들을 좀 만들고 싶어 하는 사람들이 많이 힘들어 하고 있는 상황인데 그래도 좋은 컨텐츠로 지금은 이제 플랫폼에 구애받지 않고 좋은 컨텐츠가 살아남는 시기인 것 같아요. 하고 우리가 갖고 있는 극장이라는 플랫폼을 이용해서 좋은 컨텐츠를 관객들에게 보여주기 위해서 노력을 많이 하고 있습니다. Mm -hmm. So um, since the pandemic, um, uh, the price of the ticket of the movies in the movie theater uh, increased uh, uh, considerably, and there are many. Uh, many uh, contents uh, that are available for the public, for the audience, uh, through uh, different uh, platforms, OTT platforms, uh, uh, such as uh, Squid Game. So uh, many people working in the movie industry in Korea are uh, suffering, are having difficult times. Uh, 
uh, but uh, we can say that good contents uh, can prevail uh, regardless of uh, the, the types of platform. So um, uh, we uh, movie uh, industries are working to very hard to uh, produce good platform too in the in the film industry. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck with the film and see you later. Bye. Okay, bye.